The toucan. What an amazing looking clock. I'm going to build that one. And on the way, I'm going to show you what I learned. I'm going to be using the scroll saw for most of this clock build. And if I take it nice and easy around these teeth, I'll do a nice job. I noticed if um, I didn't have enough wood around the pinions, like half an inch at least, that the scroll saw blade would actually yank the pinion out of my hand and bust the blade. I wanted to use the electric drill to wind the wire onto the electromagnet, like I did the Electra. But I made a big mistake. The wire jangled and mangled. Three hours later, I was fiddling around this silly three-dimensional puzzle, but I managed to put the wire back onto the core itself. The electromagnet, I tried to use plastic caps. They don't work. So what I used was some half-inch Baltic birch, and I cut it down to 16th inch and made myself some end caps that way. Not veneer, because veneer seems to crack and split. Ply is a lot better. I wanted to use solid wood for my weight shell. So I found some black walnut, cut it off, cut the lid off at the same time, and drill the hole through it, then use my circular sander to make it nice and round. I wondered which side to put the magnet into the pendulum and Clayton said, ah, don't worry about it, just glue it in, doesn't matter what side goes in. After carefully cutting it out on the bandsaw, I was happily sanding away and I ripped the side off. Oh great, but I think it looks, actually looks better, so I'm going to keep it that way. But I'm going to stabilize it with a bit of half inch walnut on the, up, on the back of it as well to make it nice and strong. After doing my pendulum check, I found that the pendulum swung quite free and there's quite a bit of space in the back for it as well. So that worked out really well. After putting my electromagnet in, I noticed that it wasn't so flush. So what I did was I got my little router out and I routed out the bottom plate so that it would recess and drop so that the electromagnet would be nice and flush. I'm making some buttons out of Boobinga. It's stuff I found recently and it's really cool. Very nice patterns in it. Should complement the clock really well. This is my dry run. See how I put the clock together, learn how it goes together, and make sure I pick up all those bits I kind of dropped underneath the workbench. Because I always seem to lose those things. All those brass things, always go under the bench and never find them again. I marked the center of the hole of the electromagnet, and also the center of the pendulum, so they would correctly match up. If they don't, the whole clock just shakes itself to shakes itself to death, literally just like shake, shake, shake. So you're never going to get a nice pendulum movement. It's best to buy more than one transistor for this project. You're bound to mess up. I did a couple of times. Here I'm just checking to see if my continuity works out okay. And that orange stuff is all scraped off. Here I put my transistor together and I wanted to make sure I got it correct. I checked this like three or four times and then I rechecked my continuity after I soldered it to make sure I got a good connection. Clock would work okay for half an hour then stop. I found out it was my intermediate wheel and my hour wheel. The teeth profiles weren't sanded correctly. Right at the top they kind of bend in just a fraction and that's where I needed the sand. So I made myself this little jig to find out which of the problem teeth and which were jamming. And then I would uh, sand them to the correct profile so it works. I put the clock back together again and noticed it was running a bit fast. I think the problem was my transformer. I checked it. It was supposed to be 9 volts pumping out of it, but it's 11.5. So I bought some resistors and put that into the circuit and it slowed it down and works really well now. I'm using Boo Binga for the face frame. It looks really nice and it complements the buttons I made as well. 
I wanted to make my clock level because I knew where I was going to put it. It wasn't going to be very level at all. Our house is not very level. So I put some T nuts on the bottom layer of the base plate and put some brass screws in. And there we go, nice leveling system. I also secured the wires to the frame with little screws and washers to stop those wires from getting yanked out and damaging the electromagnet. The grooves in the pendulum bob started to get a bit uh, sloppy so I wet them with some super glue and let it dry and they became nice and stiff again. So Toucan is an amazingly quiet clock. It runs really smooth and nice. I like it. Wouldn't know what to do without it right now in our house now. So, if you want to build the Toucan, it's a cool cock to build. Till next time on the next clock. See ya!